I walk myself up to the target. I plant my left leg in line for where I'm aiming. I'm staring at that the moment I step up on my line. I let my ax grip into my hand properly. I take a deep breath in and I raise my ax to the side of my head. I exhale and it's a nice smooth release keeping the wrist and arm straight out, pointing to where I want to hit. I hadn't really heard of it before 2019. One of my best friends got a job at this local ax throwing place that was gonna be opening soon. It just sounded like a really unique place to, uh, to spend some time and I walked in, I was grabbing these bigger fire axes and hurling them at the wall and it was sticking and it's just like, I hit the dot, you're super excited, and it's just a whole different feeling from most other sports I tried right off the bat. This is my favorite axe. I call it the Queen of Hearts. I've been throwing axes for now just under four years, competing for probably just under three. I started off on just like local league level, did my first tournament where we had people coming out from Alberta, from the mainland, uh, and I ended up placing eighth in that tournament overall, which was my first tournament ever. I was ecstatic with that performance, and that was the first step of actual competition I got into. And then a couple years later, I've worked my way up to competing at a, uh, we call it about a semi-pro level. Ah, there it is, that's a good throw. I have traveled to tournaments uh, in the States, across Canada, competed at the World Championships. Take a breath, Kevin. Take a breath. I lost both my first sets of matches, but the guy who beat me in my first game, he finished top eight in the world. You know, I can't be too mad losing to the eighth best thrower in the world. It was just the experience to be at the World Championships for the first time is something I will never forget. It's normal to not hit it. It's okay, and it's just about the next throw. I have never had a specific coach uh, that I've had one person teaching me how to throw. I pretty much just have to block out everything except for my throw. It's just me, myself and I throwing at the same target, tweaking what works best for me. There's no standard as to what's the right way to do things in this sport. It's just me finding what works best for myself and improving on that. The weeks where you just don't feel like you're throwing very good, where you can't find your bullseye. So I just need to just take a step back. So, you know, just throw casually, just have some fun with it. Go back to the roots of just enjoying what I'm doing. See, after two throws of just resetting on changing the form, already closer to where I want to be. There, for me, is no ceiling to where I want to push myself in this sport. Right now, it's one of my biggest life priorities. I'm gunning for 2023 World Championships. I see these guys throw at top level tournaments and stuff like that. To be able to get up to that level is a huge goal of mine. So when I set my throw up and I draw it beside my head, it's very important that I don't nick my ear. We keep the, I keep my ax super sharp, so it always bites into the wall, but I've nicked my ear a couple times. 